Dear brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God sends his word to heal individuals and families. I pray that God's healing power will touch you right now, right where you are. May your life be transformed during this session. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic is unstoppable. Unstoppable. For one to succeed in the journey of life, an individual must be unstoppable. Despite any detour or setback, an individual must keep moving towards his or her destination in life. Unstoppable means impossible to stop or prevent. Similar words are persistent, constant, unceasing. The journey of life. Which journey are you on? The journey to good health? to marriage, to parenthood, to career success, journey to success in ministry, or the most important journey of all, journey to eternity, the journey of life. There are many things that may threaten our progress during our journeys, but the blessings of the future should make us determined to get to our destination. God has given us the picture of a glorious future Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 8. See, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants after them. Many challenges along the way, but in Christ, you are unstoppable. You can only be stopped if you choose to stop. The Apostle Paul was unstoppable despite all his challenges. He kept moving forward, shipwrecked three times, stoned, scourged, beaten, chased, slandered. He received death threats. He was bitten by a snake, yet he didn't give up. Despite all these challenges, Paul impacted the world positively and still continues to do so through his words in the Bible. Okay, do I hear you say, well, that was Apostle Paul. Okay, so let's take another example, the lepers. In 2 Kings chapter 7, we read about the four lepers at the gate of Samaria. They were in an extremely challenging situation. There was famine in the land and there were these lepers, disadvantaged, despised, disenfranchised, discouraged, but they encouraged themselves to take action. They re-strategized, they changed their mindset. They said, why sit here until we die. They decided that they could not be stopped. Despite their challenges, their disadvantages, despite their circumstances, they were unstoppable. They moved forward. They moved into uncharted territory. God had gone ahead of them to make a way. Their enemies heard terrifying noises and they fled, leaving all their possessions. Second Kings chapter 7, verse 6 and 7. For the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, the noise of a great army, and they fled for their lives. Are you in a difficult situation today? Don't let that situation stop you. Decide to be unstoppable. Move forward in the power of the Most High God. And as you move, the Lord will make a way. He will make a way ahead of your enemies will hear terrifying noises in Jesus' name. Make up your mind that no hindrance or limitation can stop you. Is there a mountain before you? Mountain of unpaid bills, of debt, of difficulties, of struggles, of setbacks. God is the God of the mountains. Even the enemies know that. First Kings chapter 20, verse 23. The officers of Aram's king said to him, Israel's God is a God of the mountains. That's why they were stronger than us. But if we fight them on the plains, we will certainly be stronger than they are. The God of the mountains. And yet that same God has given you the power to move mountains. Mark 11, 22 to 24. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask for when you pray, believe you will receive them and you will have them. But do I hear you say, well, I don't really have that much faith. 
Jesus says, all you need, faith the size of a mustard seed, a mustard seed that can barely be seen, can overcome all those mountainous obstacles that may arise in our lives. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said to them, because you have so little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have the faith, the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to here, and it will move and nothing will be impossible to you. What will happen to the mountains in your life? I can predict. Psalm 97 verse 5 and 6. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of the whole earth, the heavens proclaim his righteousness and all peoples see his glory. Is there a mountain before you, a mountain of financial crisis, a health challenge? The mountains will melt like wax before the Lord. Mountains will not stop you because you are unstoppable. Don't stop. Keep moving. Make up your mind that no hindrance or limitation can stop you. Do you feel as if you're in the valley? There are different types of valley situations, valley experiences in the journey of life. The valley of defeat, valley of regret, the valley of confusion, perplexity, lack. The valley of crisis, but God is the God of the valleys. First Kings chapter 20 verse 28. Then a man of God approached and spoke to the king of Israel and said, this is what the Lord says. Since the Arameans have said, the Lord is the God of the mountains, but he's not a God of the valleys. Therefore, I will hand over to you all this great multitude and you shall know that I am the Lord. God can lift you out of the valley. But God is not limited even in the valley. God can make the valley a fruitful place for you. The valley could become a place of provision. Genesis chapter 26 verse 19. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and there they found a well of springing water. Make up your mind that no hindrance or limitation can stop you. Do you feel that your journey has been full of detours and setbacks? God can make the crooked places straight. Joseph's journey to the palace was not a straight line. In fact, it can be described as crooked. In fact, at a point, it looked like it was one step forward, two steps back. When he got to his destination, he was unstoppable. You will get to your destination. You will fulfill your God-given destiny in the name of Jesus. Make up your mind that no hindrance or limitation can stop you. Do you feel that your journey has been slow. Uneven paths will not stop you. Do you feel that a wall is blocking your way? Is there an army against you? Psalm 18 verse 29, for by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. Are there gates in front of you? You will possess the gates of your enemies. So what are the strategies of the unstoppable? Number one, they have a vision of where they want to be. The lepers, they wanted to live. They didn't want to die. That was their vision. David had been plundered by the enemy. His vision, he wanted his family and his possessions back. What are the strategies of the unstoppable? Number two, they assess, they consult. The lepers undertook a situational analysis. They involved the stakeholders. They took a joint decision. What do we lose by going into the city? Why should we die here? David also did a lot of assessments and he asked God, he said, should I pursue? Should I overtake? Will I recover all? The strategies of the unstoppable. Number three, they move. They move. Are you moving? The lepers moved. They went into the city and God gave them victory. David moved. He pursued, he overtook and he recovered all. Hallelujah. Why? Because the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. So take that first step today. Move. The strategies of the unstoppable. We're now at number four. They move even when circumstances don't look favorable. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4. He who observes the wind will not sow and he who regards the clouds will not reap. Remember, we're talking about the strategies of the unstoppable. Number five, they are ready to pay the price. 
what price are you ready to pay to arrive at your destination? And this price may vary for each situation. David was prepared to confront the enemy to recover his family and possessions. Are you ready to pray? Are you willing to fast? Are you prepared to speak to the mountains in the name of Jesus? Are you ready to be consistent in confessing the word of God over your life? Are you prepared to stay on God's side even when the enemy is suggesting a seemingly faster route? Are you ready to stay the course even when your friends are on Satan's expressway? But the future is only secure for those who know their God. Success is only guaranteed for those who know their God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Do you know God? And does God know you? If you would like the answer to these questions to be yes, then please accept God's pathway to himself through his son, Jesus Christ. Please say this prayer with me and the prayer is visible on your screen. Please let us pray together. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my saviour and as my Lord. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God. Or you may just have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you have just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. Please send a text message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, the number is plus 234-708-225-6051. We would like to help you navigate the next steps. I would like us to take these prayer points together. The prayer points are visible on your screen. Prayer point number one. Oh Lord, give me a vision of my future so I will move forward. Give me a vision of my future so I will be propelled forwards. Lord, give me a vision. Prayer point number two. Father, make me unstoppable. Make me unstoppable. Deliver me from powers that stop people on the way. Father, let me do exploits for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number three. Lord, help me to overcome every obstacle in my life. As I move forward, ordain terrifying noises for my enemies. Father, Lord, help me to overcome every obstacle in my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Prayer point number four, don't let me be sidetracked. Don't let me be delayed in my destiny journey. Oh Lord, grant me divine speed and acceleration in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number five, let every challenge be turned around into a testimony. Let every challenge be turned into a testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. And prayer point number six are your personal prayer requests. I would like to agree with you about your personal requests. Please lift up your prayer points to Almighty God, the omnipotent, all-powerful God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray that those prayer points will become testimonies. Thank you for praying along with me. We're going to continue in prayer, praying some prophetic words. Please feel free to type Amen in the chat box. I pray that none of the stoppables will be able to stop you. The mountains will not stop you. The valley will not stop you. Crooked places, uneven paths, walls will not stop you. Almighty God, the way maker, the miracle worker will remove every obstacle in your life in Jesus' name. Illness will not stop you. Financial hardship will not stop you. Setbacks will not stop you in the name of Jesus. Your trajectory, your course, your path, your track, your journey will not be truncated in the name of Jesus. The path of life will not swallow you. You will not be behind in your destiny journey. You will not be a latecomer in destiny. You will pursue, you will overtake, you will recover all. Your way to success will not be hindered. You will leap over walls mountains will melt like wax. 
valleys will become fruitful ground for you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom.